Are you looking for the best snowmobile shovels? If your answer is yes, then this video is really very useful for you. There are lots of products available to choose snowmobile shovels with different prices, benefits and characteristics. I did hours of extensive research and read tons of reviews to compile a list of perfect products for you. I hope my research will help you to buy the right snowmobile shovels. To check the updated price and other details of those products, check the links from the description box. Let's jump into the video without any further delay. Number 1. Lifeline Aluminum Sport Utility Shovel The Lifeline Aluminum Sport Utility Shovel is a good pick for anyone on a budget. It's a highly affordable option that will still give you plenty of digging power and capability. It's also extremely lightweight and can easily fit inside a backpack, which benefits anyone who wants to shed pounds on a big backcountry excursion. An adjustable handle allows you to set up the shovel at three different lengths, 21, 26, and 32. It also easily breaks down into three pieces that can quickly be assembled on the trail. I'd also recommend this shovel for the casual snowmobiler who doesn't get out in the snow that often butts want to be ready when the time comes. This isn't the most durable or strong option on the list. That's a trade-off for its very affordable price. The three-piece style is nice when saving space, but you can easily lose part of the handle if you don't stow them carefully. Number 2. Sub-Zero Heavy Duty Aluminum Emergency Shovel The Sub-Zero Heavy Duty Aluminum Emergency Shovel is the recommended choice for any snowmobiler who wants strength and power on their side. It is built of heavy-duty aluminum that can cut through hard snow and break up ice quickly. You can rely on this shovel to be effective in all types of snow, and it's also highly versatile. A folding hole function gives you additional digging and scooping power. It has a lightweight blade with a pointed tip that would chip and pick away hard-packed snow. This dual function makes it a great asset on the trail. It also has a handle that can extend up to 30 inches for a long reach, and added leverage. You can quickly collapse the tool when you're ready to get back to riding or to store it in the car. An ergonomic handle and curved bar add to the function and effectiveness as well. It's a powerful shovel that works consistently, no matter how you use it. The volume of the blade is on the smaller side. This means you won't get as much scooping power as larger options. That's the only real issue to mention, and this is another highly recommended shovel. Number 3. Fritlife Folding Snow Shovel If you want a smaller, low-profile option, the Fritlife Folding Snow Shovel is the way to go. This is a great option for anyone who wants to attach a shovel to their backpack when they ride without being weighed down. It's built of high-grade aluminum and weighs in at under a pound. It also has a strong and durable blade with a pointed tip to help penetrate harder snow, allowing you to dig quickly and effectively. A telescopic design gives you the ability to adjust the length from 17.13 to 25.79 inches. This isn't a huge variation, but allows you to adapt in the backcountry if you need to. The shovel is very easy to collapse and assemble with the push of a button. It also has a comfortable handle that helps when you need to dig deeper often. The compact nature of the frit life means you don't get a lot of added features. And the under 26 length is pretty short you might find the need for increased leverage. Number 4. FXR, Tactic Shovel. The FXR Tactic is a great shovel overall, and comes in as the best option on this list. My favorite thing about this shovel is its curved blade. This makes it better at scooping and shoveling quickly, compared to flat blade options. After using a curved shovel blade for a while now, I don't think I'd ever go back. The tactic is made out of a forged aluminum material that is very strong, durable, and lightweight. You won't risk bending or breaking it, even when digging heavy hard packed snow or ice. It's also light enough to strap to your backpack without worry. The blade has a serrated edge to help cut and slice through snow, and you'll also get the benefit of a cross-cut saw blade that stores inside of the handle. This can come in handy when you are checking avalanche conditions or building snow caves. It's collapsible for quick storage, but expands to a nice size of 37 inches for added leverage. I think this is the perfect size shovel to bring with you into the backcountry, either strapped to your sled or your back. The only place where I think the tactic could be improved upon is the handle. It works, but it's not quite as form-fitting as some other options I've used. Number 5. r cat Backcountry Access Dozer D2 If you can spend a little more money and want a solid and functional option, check out the r cat Backcountry Access Dozer D2. This is another awesome snowmobile shovel that includes some added features that give you expanded capabilities in the snow. It can fold into a hoe, giving you the ability to scoop and clear snow, and also comes with a 6.5-inch folding saw that stores in the handle. It extends up to 31.9 inches for significant leverage and digging power when you have it folded like a regular shovel as well. Lightweight but very strong T6 aluminum gives you a good cut and bites into hard snow without adding weight. This is a more aggressive shovel that can come in handy when you need to dig through large amounts of snow, or just want the peace of mind to know that you'll be able to do so if required. The downside is that a more aggressive build and added features weigh things down a bit. This is a heavier shovel that is better left attached to your sled than on your back. So that's all about the video. 
To get helpful videos like this do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for quick notifications. If you need more information about those products check the links from the description below. Please comments below if you have any query about this video. Thanks for watching.